Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Good evening. Good. Hi. How are you today? Everything's, is everything all right? Yes. Perfect. Welcome, everybody. It's a nice pleasure to be with you and to work with you during this you know, module. My name is, let me introduce myself. My name is Hugo Vasquez, and I will be in charge of the group. This is Intermediate 2. Nice to meet you, everybody. Let's start with this session. Let me display the presentation to you. Over time, nice to meet you. And we're going to begin with the session, right? So oh, I have in the meeting, let's see. I have Bella, Sway, Juan, Judith, Sana. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Again, my nice name is you, Hugo Vasquez. Thank you. My name is Hugo Vasquez, and I will be in charge of the group. Okay, if you have any questions, if you need some help, some support, let me know and I will help you. By the way, how was your weekend? How was your weekend? Did it you enjoy it? It was great. It was great? Perfect. Yes. Did you relax? You relax a lot? Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Welcome, Natalie. Welcome to the meeting. We are starting. This is session number five. My name is Hugo Vasquez, and I am in charge of the group. We're going to start, and I will display in this case, you know, because I have a presentation for you. Let's begin. Can everybody see the presentation in screens? Yes, I can okay. see it. Can see it. Excellent. Okay, well, see, I have floor. Floor, hello, good evening, welcome. How are you, Flora? Can you hear me? Well, let's begin. Let's begin. Thank you for joining. That's great. How are you today? You did. Natalie, Isala. Good. Good, and you? Very nice. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. What about the suede? Natalie. Everything's good. Uh, what about you? Everything is all right. Thank you for asking. Thank you. Uh, welcome. See, so one of the classmates is joining us. Well, I think it's Jose, right? Juan, what about Juan, please? Oh, no, Luis. Okay, Luis. Hi, welcome. Good evening. I think you have the microphone. Yeah. Oh, yes. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. And you? I'm fine. Perfect. Welcome. Welcome to this session. This is session number five. Can everybody see the presentation? Uh, okay. My name yeah. is Fernan Luis Fernando Diaz. And I work in auditory. Mm, I work in San Salvador, but I live in Santa Ana. Excellent. Nice to meet you, Luis. Nice to meet you. Thank Very you. Good. Nice to meet you too. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Um, let me see if I can listen to some people. You know, because yeah, we have to, to do a lot today. I will select some people. Well, do I have volunteers to help me? And can you introduce yourself? I need to know more about you. So let me know you can switch on the microphone and you can participate. Okay. Volunteers? Oh, uh, me teacher. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. My name is Roxana. 
Um, I live in Chalchuapa. Um, I like to study English. And I like listen to music too. And, and it's a pleasure to study with you. <laughs> Excellent. The pleasure is mine. Thank you. Nice okay. to meet you. Only that. <laughs> Excellent. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Thank you. What about, I think, Juan, you want to, to, to speak? You want to introduce yourself? Uh, good yeah. evening. Can you hear me? Good evening. Yeah, I can. I can. Okay. My name is Juan. I study economics. Uh, I live in Apastepeque. It's nice to meet you. Excellent. Nice to meet you too. The pleasure is mine. Hey, do I have somebody else? Another volunteer? Yeah, me, Gisela. Yeah, let's go. Gisela, sorry. Uh, Gisela. Gisela, okay. All right. Hi, my name is Gisela. I graduate for business administration. And act actually, I, I'm working as a gymnastic chair for kids. And it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, okay, that's awesome. And congratulations because you said that you have graduated from business administration. Excellent. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. All right, let's see. Volunteers, somebody else? Me. Hi, teacher. Hi, let's go. Hi. Oh, my name well. is Mauricio. Yes. Mauricio, I am 28, 28 years old. And. I am from San Salvador, and nice to meet you, teacher. It's a pleasure. Thank you. The pleasure is mine. Nice to meet you, too. Well, thank you, Alicia. I think, Roger, you want to, to okay. participate, too? Oh. Yes. My name is Roger. Uh, I, I am 28 years old. I live in Santa Tega. I like to play soccer, and nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, Roger. Okay. A pleasure. Pleasure. Else? Hello. Hello. Let's go. My, Hi. My name is Judith Mendez. I am librarian. I work in Academia Britannica. I is I little speak English. <laughs> nice hey. to meet you. Nice. Nice to meet you too. So you remember that you are here and you are learning. You are from a purpose. And remember that if you need some help, just let me know and I will help you. You will be, you know, I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to do it. I'm here for that purpose. And of course, I will continue for your learning process. And okay. nice to meet you. A pleasure. Let's see who's missing. I think we're missing Josue. Yeah, hi everyone. My name is Josué Contreras. I am 22 years old. I am living in San Salvador. And nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. What about Natalie? Natalie, could you help us? Hi, Natalie. Can you hear me? Hi, my name is Natalie. I live in San Miguel. I started licenciatura in Contaduría Pública. Okay, excellent, nice to meet you. Nice to, to have you in the meeting. Okay, does someone else, someone else missing? No? I think everybody, yeah, uh, everybody introduce, you know, ourselves, okay? Well, Again, nice to meet you. It's a great pleasure to be with you. This is my first time in the program. This is intermediate too. You are, you know, you have advanced during the, the last last week. I, I think, well, I know that this is the second week. And well, this is the topic for today. I will be with you guys for the rest of the, the module. And, you know, you will be, uh, awesome to help you to contribute in your learning process. And again, if you need some help, if you have some questions, 
you can ask me, you can ask as many questions as you can. Of course, I will help. Okay, let's start. This is the topic of the day. Uh, well, before to do it, sorry. I think, you know, everybody is familiar with the platform, right? Uh, yeah. In my case, yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> That's the rest some, of my classmates. <laughs> yeah. Does someone or you know does someone have problems with the platform? Have you had some problems with the platform? What about the rest? Is everything good? Uh, for me, yeah, if everything good, I think the platform is very friendly or I feel it friendly. And I made the first section. Excellent. And that is the purpose. That is the purpose. Very good. Well, if you need, if you need, if you have some, you know, troubles with the platform, just let me know. You know, you can contact me. You have my 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 contact. You have my phone number. So you can share. You can ask your questions in the group. Remember, the group is there for that purpose. You can. You can say if you have some troubles, if you have some issues with platform, etc. And of course, let, I will help you. Okay. So if I don't know something, for example, I will ask for that specifically, and then I will give you some support. Okay. okay. And also, Thanks. you're welcome. You're welcome. And also, if you think that I have, you know, during the, the sessions, if you think that I, I am, you know, I'm doing or I am doing the things or activities faster or I am speaking faster, just let me know and I'll, you know, you can interrupt me and tell me, slow down, teacher, slow down, okay? So, you know, the idea is that you understand me, that you can, you can comprehend what I'm, what I'm saying and, you know, we are here for a purpose. You are learning, you are increasing your skills and, of course, I'm willing to help you, okay? Well, oh yes, let's continue. If you have doubts, if you have questions, just let me know. This is the topic for today. Penitives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Remember that we have to complete the platform, have to complete all the activities that are in there. And again, if you need some support, if you have some, if you need some support, sorry, just let me know, okay? So this is the topic, this is the second week. Penitives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Okay, let's begin. Again, my name is Hugo Vasquez. Today is Monday, March 8th, 2021. Moving on, let's go to the first part. We're going to start defining what are imperatives or what is an imperative and what are infinitives. And then we're going to learn, we're going to practice how we connect, how we uh, construct ideas or examples with imperatives and infinitives. This is for giving suggestions. What is an imperative, guys? What is an imperative? What do you remember? It's an imperative. What is an imperative? Have you ever heard about imperatives? It's the first time that you listen to them. For me, the imperative is something that uh, some people say, and you have to do it. It's an order that exactly. you have to do it, and you can avoid it. Excellent. Absolutely. I mean, that's an order. That's an order. That someone can give you, someone can give you, sorry, and you have to do it or not. Okay. Very good. What else? What else can you tell me about imperatives? Um, maybe are used to issue a command or instruction. Yeah, exactly. Someone said, I'm sorry, okay. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, sorry. Yeah, 
someone said uh, an order. Now your classmate said commands and instructions. Absolutely, those are imperatives. Okay, and we use them in this part. Okay, when we have suggestions, we can use them. Yeah. When you want to give a suggestion, you can use an imperative or an infinitive if suggested. So we can mix, we can mix the two forms, imperatives and infinitives, okay? As you said, imperatives are commands, instructions, and orders. Yeah, we get it. What about, and let me show you, I will talk about that first. Imperatives, when we use them, it's because we want to give orders, we want to give instruction, we want to give a command. Okay. An imperative, an imperative is formed with a, with a verb, okay, with a verb. So it means that we don't need subjects. We don't need subjects, okay? We don't use them, we don't use them, right? So we don't need don't have subjects in imperatives. And, and we start with a verb, with a verb. For example, open the door, open the door. That could be an order, that could be an instruction. It depends, I mean, this is an order that probably someone can give you, please. Open the door. Another one, for example, take an aspirin. Sorry, in that case, it's an aspirin. Take an aspirin. Okay, that is an instruction that a doctor, a doctor can give you. Okay, if you go to the doctor, you go to a, a clinic, you have an appointment. So then the doctor can give you a prescription. And he said, or she said, that you have to, in this case, take, take an aspirin, take medicine. That, that, that's an instruction, okay? Another one, pay attention. That could be a command, I mean, it depends. This could be a, this could be an order, very class, pay attention, pay attention. But as you can see, we don't use subjects. We don't say, I open the door. No, because that is incorrect. Or you open the door. That is incorrect. But imperatives, we don't use subject. We start with the verb. We start with the verb. All right? Then we have the negative form. With the negative form, uh, we have the affirmative and we have the negative form. With the negative form, the same. We don't use subjects. We don't use subjects. And we use do not. Do not, or can it use the contraction, don't. So it depends. We can say, for example, do not the door. Or don't use your cell phone during class. Okay? So those are negative impediments. Negative infinite. That is the way we structure them. When we are giving orders, we're giving instructions, we're giving you know commands, etc. Okay. We have some other examples in in the image. Don't push that. For example, if you say, if you tell a, a kid, if you tell a child, don't push that. That's an instruction and that is an, an order that you're giving your child or a kid. Don't touch that. Don't touch, for example, the power outlet. The power outlet. Don't touch power outlet. Okay? That is an example, a negative imperative. Questions so far? No. No? I understand. Okay, nice. Thank you. Very good, very good. 
Let me know if you have questions, okay? Let's go with the second part. Now, what is an infinitive? Or what are infinitives? What are infinitives? What can you tell me? What do you think? What are infinitives? What do you remember? Okay, mm -hmm. but, yeah, tell me, sorry. What? Ideas? Okay, let me help you, no worry. An, infin an infinitive, sorry, is the basic form of a verb, okay? And it often acts as a noun, and it starts with the word to, okay? So we have some examples in there, as you can see. There's some examples in there. And we have, you know, to be on time, it's important in the US culture. That is a noun, that is a noun, okay? So we start with the word to, to, and then we have a verb. The verb is in base form, base form. Okay, so in this case, related to the first example, to be on time, that a specific form or that a specific phrase is a noun. When we say to be on time, why? Because then we have a verb, which is is. Okay, and that's why to be on time is a noun here, okay? But we have some other possibilities. Second example, we try to arrive on time every day. We try to arrive on time every day. So in that case, we have two verbs. Two verbs. We use infinity in that way. We connect two verbs. We try. Try is the first verb. That is the main verb. Try to arrive on time every day. Or when you say, I have to work every day. So we connect two verbs. Have, the main verb, and work is the second verb. So we use infinitive to work. So that is another use for infinitives. We connect two verbs. Okay. Any questions? Well, we have another one. We have a question, sorry. Could you ask them to prepare something for the meeting? Ask them to prepare something for the minute. So again, we have two verbs, ask and prepare. That is infinite. That is infinite. In the first example, that is a noun. That is a noun. So we can start a sentence like this. To be on time, now the verb is is. Is important in US culture. Okay? Any questions about infinitives? Questions? No. Does that make sense? Yes. So far so good? We clear? If you, need, if you have some questions, let me know, okay? Don't be shy. Don't be afraid of asking me. Sorry? No? Is everything clear? Yes, yes. 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 Okay. Very good. Now it's time to mix, to combine the two forms. Imperatives and infinitive. How is that possible? Look, we use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Okay, that is the purpose. We can mix, listen, we can mix imperatives 
and infinitives. Well, let's hear we listen to someone. Volunteer. Say I will listen to Roxana. Could you please read that part? We can mix. Oh, uh, we can mix imperatives and infinitives to come up with. Uh, wait, I have the. Sorry. Okay, we can mix imperatives and infinitive to come up with great suggestions. Okay, okay, so as Roxana said, we combine, we combine imperatives and infinitives. How is that possible? Let me show you. We have in here the way we structure the two forms, imperatives and then infinitive. We have an imperative, as we said previously, that is a command, that is an instruction, or that is an order. We start with an imperative and we don't use subjects, you know. And then we have infinitive. So we use infinitives. In some cases, they add as nouns. But most of the time, when we use inf infinitives, it's because we have two verbs. Two verbs connected. Okay. And that is a great suggestion. Okay. Common expressions. Well, let me give an example first. For example, if you say study for your guests, that is an imperative. Yeah, absolutely. That is an imperative, and that could be a suggestion. For example, Roger, if I tell you study for the test, that is a suggestion that I'm giving you. Yeah, it is. But if you include, if you include, an infinitive or these forms that I'm going to show you, that is more, more, it's much better. It's much better. Okay, so you can have something more polite, something more formal. That is a great suggestion. We have some common expressions we use as imperatives to give the suggestions, common expressions, and they start like imperatives. For example, we have this expression. These are common expressions for you for giving suggestions. And they are a company. They are a company by the infinitive. For example, we have be sure. Be sure is the first one. Second, make sure. Make sure. Number three, don't forget. Don't forget. Number four, remember, remember. And the last one, try, try. Those are common expressions that we can use in order to give great suggestions, okay? Polite suggestions, okay? Like I said before, we say study for your test. That is an imperative, okay? And it could be a suggestion. Right? But it's not, let's say, a great suggestion. Okay? It's not. If you say, for example, be sure to study for the test, that is a great suggestion. And as you can see, we combine the imperative with the infinite. Okay? To study for the test. We connect. We connect the imperative with the infinite. I have some more examples in here. This one's an example. Let me see, I will listen to some people. For example, by example, I will go with, what is, what is the first example? Be sure. Be sure to warm, warm up before exercising. Exactly. Be sure to warm up before exercising. Okay. That is exercising, exactly, exercising. That is something that, let's say a trainer or a coach, coach can guess you, okay? That is a suggestion that someone is a trainer, a coach can 
you know, give you, right? Be sure, that is infinitive, be sure, warm up, to warm up. So warm up is a verb, it's a verb, and that is infinitive, warm up. So that is a phrasal verb, phrasal verb. Be sure to warm up before exercising. That is something that we know, I mean, when we do exercises, we warm up and we warm up first, okay? Before to do the whole routine, you, you know the routine that you have, okay? It's good that for is, your muscles. Exactly, for your muscles, and okay? For your, your even for your health, for your health. You have to be healthy, you have to be in shape, okay? Exactly. Okay. The second one. Let's go with the second example. I will listen to Isela. You have it with next. Make sure to be on time for the class. Yeah, of course. That is another one. So the, the, the expression is make sure. Make sure. And then we accompany that imperative or that expression with an infinitive, which is to be, to be on time for the class. Okay, so we have two verbs, two verbs. Make sure is one verb, and the other one is be. Make sure to be on time for the class. That is a suggestion that probably one of your classmates can give you. And that is a great suggestion. Make sure to be on time for the class. Make sure to do the homework. Make sure uh, to go to work early. Okay. Make sure you know to, to wake up early. Okay. It depends. It depends. Next, number three. I will listen to Luis. Can you read the example, please. Don't forget. Sorry, yes. don't forget to do your homework. Exactly, very good. That is another one. And as you can see, we are using a negative imperative. And that, that negative imperative gives you positive suggestion. Okay, this is a negative imperative, but that gives you a positive result, positive suggestion. Okay, if I tell you, for example, guys, don't forget, to complete the platform, okay? That is a nice or an excellent suggestion because you know that you have to do it. You have to do it, you have to complete it, okay? Don't forget to do your homework. That is another one. Next, remember, remember, sorry, remember, I will listen to one. Remember to eat your lunch. Yeah, that is another one. Remember, that is the expression. And then we accompany with an infinitive. Imperative, infinitive, remember. Remember to eat your lunch. So we have two verbs again. Remember and eat. In this case, we start with a, an imperative. We don't have subject, okay? Has up. Remember to eat your lunch. Remember to let's say, let me see another example. You can say, remember to in your house, for example. Let's let's say that one of your family members, probably your father, your mother, or even I don't know your your brother, your sister. Can tell you. Remember to turn off the lights. Okay. Remember to turn off the lights. Okay. That is another example. That is the way we can do. And the last one is try. Try. And we have that more. I will explain that more. Let's see. I will listen to. Did it? Could you help me with the last example? Try not 
try not to forget your class at night. Yeah, very good. So in that case, in that case, we start an imperative in an affirmative form, but we have a negative form in the sen in the in the let's say in the sentence, okay, or in the statement. So that is something that we can do. You want to say something in negative, but we start the imperative in affirmative form. We can include that negation, let's say, between the, the verb, the first verb, the main verb in this case, and the infinitive. So we can say not to. So not goes before try not to. For example, try not to arrive late. Um, so I would say try not to be late for work. Okay, so probably that is a suggestion that one of your co-workers or your colleague, police, can give you. This is a suggestion. Try not to be <laughs> late for work. Tell me. Teacher, in this case, uh, when you use a negative uh, in the infinitive, you don't use the uh, like a like a imperative. You use the auxiliary verb. Do not. Mm. In this case, you use only not to be. You. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. But in this case, yeah, as you said, yeah, we don't use, let's say, the auxiliary like in, in imperative, don't. Yeah, we don't use it, don't use it. We can say, try not, not. to be late for work, okay? Or in other words, if you say a simple imperative, when you say, don't be late for work. That is a simple, you know, imperative. That's an imperative. Don't be late for work. But if you say try not to be late for work, that is a suggestion. I mean, that is a great, as we said previously, but it's an excellent suggestion. Try not to be late for work. Okay? That is the way we use them. Okay? Any questions so far? I have a question. No? Uh, for the common expressions, uh... I'm trying to make with a different common expression the sentence. And for me, we can use a, all the, the common expression for the same sentence. That is correct. We can use it. For example, in be sure to warm up before exercising, we can use make sure to warm up or don't forget to warm up or remember to warm up or try to warm up we can use it uh, whatever we want. Exactly, exactly. That is, a, that is a key. I mean, you can vary. You can vary those possibilities. As you said, okay. uh, Gisela, Gisela, sorry. As you said, uh, we can change. In the first example, be sure to warm up before exercising. Exercising, sorry. If you say, don't forget to warm up for exercising, it's the same. We vary in this case the the expression, the expression, and we express the same purpose. Very given circumstances. Absolutely. Very good. That is a nice observation that you made. Yeah, because I try to write it with the other common expression, and for me, in every sentence, I have a uh, the same sentence. Or the yeah. same sense. They make sense, they make sense, yeah. They make sense. For example, if you say, remember to warm up for exercising. That makes sense, makes sense. Or if you say, for example, make sure to warm up before exercising. That makes sense, sense. That makes sense too. Absolutely. What else? Something that you have to take into account too is that we say at the beginning that with imperatives, we don't use subjects. 
That's true. That's true. But if you say, for example, if you say in this way, Carlos, the beginning, Carlos, and then you separate with a comma, say Carlos, be sure to warm up for exercise. We can use imperatives in that way. Why? Because we are not using the subject like, we don't have the subject, and we just have a name. Carlos, be sure to warm up before exercise. And say, be sure to warm up before exercise. And then we say at the end, Carlos. Those two possibilities are correct. Carlos, or say Carla, be sure to warm up for exercise. Or be, be sure to warm up for exercising, Carla. Okay, so in that case, we are referring to someone, right? We're saying, are we giving a, a suggestion to a specific person? We're using names. That's not a subject, okay? Any questions? Does that make sense? Okay. Questions? Now? It's good. Oh, okay. Thank you. How about the rest of the class? Natalie, are you? No? Any doubts? No? Questions? It's okay. 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 By the way, let me know if I am I am doing you know things faster. Let me know and tell me, Fisher. Please slow down. All right. You're speaking faster or you're explaining this faster, etc. Let me know. Okay. You think that everything is all right? Perfect. Just let me know. Be sure everything is good. Okay. Mm. Well, this, I'm sorry? No, please, thank you. Perfect, very good. Well, let's continue. Let me see, don't forget the common expressions, please. That is the way, again, we combine imperatives and infinitive, okay? An imperative, remember, it's an order, as we said, uh, an instruction, a command, etc. In an infinitive, that is, you know, there's something that we use and they act as nouns, or in some cases we use them to connect two verbs, two verbs. Okay. In this case, we use both. We use both. We use imperatives first, imperatives, then infinitive. Why? Because we connect the two verbs. Be sure to warm up. Be sure is the main verb, and then we have a second verb. Okay, we give suggestions. They are more polite, more polite. Okay, well, moving on to the next form. I have a conversation in here between Jenny and Charlie. They are giving suggestions, you know, about something. And well, as you can see in the picture, Jenny is asking for, you know, something. So she's trying to, to use a computer, okay? So this is about Jenny and Charlie. And in the conversation, we have some suggestions with this form, additives and infinitives, okay? Let's go. I will, you know, record the conversation. Follow, follow me, and then I will have like a couple of participants. You have to help in this case with the conversation. Next, pay attention to the conversation, and at the same time, we're going to identify those points. Okay, here we go. Listen to me first. Can I use your computer for a moment, please? Words. Thanks. 
Uh, now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to check that everything is working well. Okay, now it is ready. All right, make sure to turn on once, turning off, sorry, once you finish, please. Sure, thanks so much. Okay, that is a short conversation. As you can see, we are including those forms because we want to give suggestions. Okay. Well, I need some volunteers to handle with the conversation. Me, teacher. Seven. And somebody else? I am a volunteer. Sure. Sure. Hey, okay, I have very good. I have many people. You're going to participate, very good. I will have Roxana and Manel for the first round for the first conversation. Um Roxana, you will be Jenny and for you, you will be hurry, okay? Let's go. One, two, three. Action. Okay. Can I use your computer for a moment, please? Of course. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to check that everything is working well. Okay, now it is ready. All right, make sure to turn it off on. Should you finish, please? Sure, thanks so much. Excellent, perfect, thank you. Uh, repeat it for me, Roger. First of all, first of all. First of all. First of all. First of all. Yeah. all. Again, okay. thank you. I will go with, I think I have Gisela and Manuel. So we're going to have it for the next round. Next conversation. Stella, you will be Jenny and Manuel, you are Charlie. Okay? Let's go on a camera three guys. One, two, three. Can I use your computer for a moment, please? Of course. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to check that everything is working well. Okay, now it is ready. All right, make sure to turn it off once. Did you finish, please? Sure, thanks so much. Well done. Thank you, Gisela and Manel. Manel, repeat for me, please. First okay. of all. Sorry. First, one more time, yeah. First of all. First of all. First of all. First, first of, of all. all. First of all. Over time. First of all. First of all. First of all. First of all. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Madam. You're welcome. Very good. I will have more participants in the conversation. I need one more pair. Um, others. I think I have Luis. Luis wants to participate. Luis wants to participate. Yes. But yeah, Luis. And okay. we'll go with, let's see. Judith, could you help me, please? Okay. Very good. So, Judith, you are Jenny. And Luis, you are Charlie. Okay. Let's go. Can I use your computer for a moment, please? Of course. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to check that everything is working well. Okay. Now it is ready. All right. Make sure to turn it off. Once you finish, please. Sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very good job. Okay. Could you identify could you identify in the conversation those suggestions? Yes. What are the suggestions? Can you tell me? Be sure to turn it on. 
Exactly, that is one. Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to check that everything is working well. Exactly. Don't forget to May, check that everything is working well. Make sure. Make sure to turn it off once you finish, please. Exactly. Make sure to turn the computer off once you finish, please. Those are some, you know, suggestions. But in this case, Charlie is providing Jenny. Okay. Could you give me some other examples you can have? Or well, let me let me do something. I will give you a couple of minutes. I will give you two or three minutes. Write in your notebook one or two suggestions by using these expressions. Okay. Let's go, I will give you some time. I'll go back because I need to see these examples and all of them in order to write your own example. Write, write one or two, it's okay, one or two. Let's go. If you have that's any you, questions. That you gave us. Uh, okay. you, have, you have to write two examples in your notebooks. Two examples of suggestions. You can use be sure, don't forget, Okay. In your notes, right? Two examples. Two examples of these. I mean, follow these examples and write your own versions, your own sentences. Okay. You think it? Is it clear? Yes. I think. My yeah. own example. Exactly, you your seen. own examples. Yeah, your own examples. Yeah, write in your notebook your own examples. You can choose, you know, some expressions, two expressions, it's okay. Uh, two expressions are okay, and you can write some examples. If you need some help, if you have some questions, let me know. Let me know once you're ready, okay? I finish my sentence. Okay, very good. Gisela, could you please, could you please provide us those examples? Could you provide us. Yes. Okay, the first one is don't forget to cook the chicken for the diner. The second one, try to be on time for the meeting next time. And the last one, Remember to pay the bills. Exactly. Perfect. Awesome. That is a, a nice job. Thank you, Isela, for providing your examples in the recipe class. I appreciate. I finished too. Very good. Could you help us with your examples? Okay. The first, be sure to select the correct answer. The second, don't forget to bring the lunch to the work. Remember to go to the supermarket. Make sure to pay attention in the English class. Exactly. Excellent. I like it, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I like it. 
Thank you for sharing. Somebody else? Okay. Um, Me, teacher. Here. Excellent. Chris, let's go. Okay. Remember to write your list to your English lesson. Remember to write your uh, English lesson. Yeah. The second. Uh, don't forget uh, to clean your bedroom. Very good. The, okay. In the other, uh, uh, don't forget uh, to. Uh, wow. What do you pronounce? Um, what is the word? Uh, is a uh, buscar. Oh. You can say, don't forget to, it depends. What do you mean when you say buscar? It's, don't forget to uh, buscar uh, to see libros. Oh, okay. So you can say, don't forget to look the books. Your books. Don't forget to look your books. Or the books. The books. Look for the books, yes. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Luis, for sharing your examples. Do I have somebody else, another participant? Me. Me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'll go, don't worry. You, you two are going to participate. I'll go with Judith and then Roxana. Okay. 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 Be sure to pack everything you need. Make sure to put on the seat, seat belt. Seat belt. Uh, don't forget to make your sandwich for the lunch. Yeah. Remember to pick out my breakfast. Try to speak English. Nice you done. Thank you, Judith, for your examples. Those are awesome. Nice. We'll go with Roxanne. Okay. okay. Uh, don't forget to wash the dishes. Um, remember to take out the trash and try to drink enough water or water, only water, or is correct yeah. enough water? Oh, you can say oh. it's okay when you say enough water. You can say enough water, you can say just water, you can say some water. Okay. Depends. Yeah. Did I again that example? What? Yes. Could you repeat that example again? Sorry. The last one? Yes, we missed uh, my sentence. Uh, sure. Yeah, tell me. Uh, number one, oh. remember, don't touch that, it can break. Second, uh, try not miss the movie. The last one, don't forget to turn off cell phones mm -hmm. during, during the show. Yeah, very good. Can you repeat the, the first one right now? Uh, yeah, remember this one. Uh, remember, don't touch that. This can break. Okay, very good. Remember, in that case, because you're using negative, you use not, not don't. Remember, not to touch that. Use not. It can break. Instead of don't, because you said remember don't. Okay, it is remember not to touch. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Manuel. Like that. You're welcome. Perfect. I will go with Natalie. Sorry, Natalie. In my last volunteer. Yes. Um. Don't forget to clean the table. Um. Be sure to turn to turn off the light before you go out. Yeah, you can again double the last one. Okay, um, don't forget to clean your room. Try not to be late to the game. Um, and remember to brush your teeth. Exactly, yeah, perfect. I like okay. them, I like them. Thank you, Roger. Okay. Very good. Right, um, guys, any questions about how we use imperatives and infinitives 
for giving suggestions? Everything is clear. It's okay. Right, very nice. Well, listen, it's time, it's time. Well, it has been a pleasure to be with you in this first session. You know, time flies and yeah, it's 10, 10, two. We're going to finish right here. And yeah, if you have any questions, remember you can let me know, contact me, and of course I will give you two. Right, so we're gonna finish right here, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your time. We'll continue next class, tomorrow in this case, with uh, something new, okay? Where we're going to continue practicing in case. Right, so have a good night. Well, let me know if you have questions. It's all right. Everything Thank you. is good. It's a pleasure. So I will see you tomorrow, okay? Have a good night, everybody. Take care a lot, stay safe, and God bless you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Good night, hey, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good, good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Sure. Bye. See you. See you.